Why do we have to give some of our money back to God? That's a question we hear in our house all the time. So we try to train our kids that that's part of our responsibility as people who want to walk in the way of Jesus to actually give back some money. So when Ben decided he wanted an a iPhone, we told him to go do some research online about what an iPhone costs and how much it costs per month. And we hoped that he would realize after doing the research he couldn't afford it, which he did. And then when he said he wanted an electric golf cart to cruise around the neighborhood, we said, hey, do some research online, Ben, because uh, you know, you'll find out what those costs. And so he went online and he thought, and he came back and he's like, man, I can't afford this stuff. He's all ticked off. He's like, you know, take me forever to save enough money to get these things I want. And then he, then he said the line, why do I have to give some of my money back to God? It would really help if I had that money to, you know, to, to give to these other projects. <laughs> it's a question I think we all ask, right? Why do we have to give some of our money back? If we only had that money, you know, and then, and then it came time this last weekend for our church to pack um, caregiver kits for the workers that go through Africa and take care of the people with AIDS in various villages. And each caregiver kit costs a certain amount of money to make, a certain amount of money to ship over to Africa. And Ben was able to take his $125 that he saved for God, and he was able to send caregiver kits to Africa. And it had a profound impact on him to realize that his money they had set aside was going to actually make a difference in someone else's life. Why do we have to give some of our money back to God? I don't know. Do you?